I don't invest planning on a squeeze, but all right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a company called Beam Global, stock ticker B-E-E-M. This is an EV electric charging station, and it is off the grid, and it's solar powered. This is a small cap, high growth stock. We talk about these types of companies all the time on the channel, so if this is content that interests you, or if you're new to the channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and also, of course, everybody, please smash the like button for us. Feel free to leave a comment below, and in the pinned comment, you will see a link to our free Discord. I did a video about Beam approximately one month ago. This was back on March 8th when Beam was trading at $16.69. So it was already up considerably off of its all-time low. I did this video basically saying you have not missed the run-up and there's plenty more to follow. Now I want to do a follow-up video because they have announced their year-end earnings. I want to go through their year-end earnings and talk price target. Because in this video that I did a month ago, my first price target was $25. Well, they have already reached that today. So they've already hit the first price target that we talked about in just one month. So when we get to the charts, you'll see how much that is. And we'll talk about what the next price target is from here, in my opinion. So you can see Beam's trading at $25.64. Now, I'm making this video on Tuesday, April 5th. I am going to the Bitcoin conference in Miami. So... This video may not air for a few days, so please adjust your screens accordingly. This will probably not be the price of Beam when this video airs. However, in the event that there is a pullback, we'll talk about that later. The day of this recording is Tuesday, April 5th. So this is the seventh or eighth day in a row that Beam is up. I think it's the 13th out of the last 16 days that Beam has been green. So this stock, throughout all the ups and downs of the market, this stock has just been headed up in a straight line since it bottomed out. This brings them up to a $257 million market cap. So just to put that in perspective, last January, this was over a $600 million market cap company. So their company has progressed significantly since then, and their market cap has been cut in much less than half. They only have about 10 million outstanding shares of stock. So the float, I think, is 8 million. This is an extremely small float company. And this is one of the most shorted stocks in the stock market. So let's just go visit that real quick while I'm talking about it. Right on the first page, Beam is right here at 38.39%. So it's one of the top 10 most shorted stocks in the market. It has been for a while. I am surprised it remains this shorted because the shorts are getting crushed right now. And you'll also see the days to cover on this is 9.2 days. So, you know, there is a very strong potential for a squeeze on this. And the longer this run up continues, the bigger the pressure is going to get. The stock trades on very low volume. So this could happen in any given day. Okay, but that's not the main reason I'm in this stock. I did want to point out, though, it is one of the most shorted stocks in the stock market, and the shorts have been getting destroyed for the last, basically, three weeks. I wanted to hit some of the highlights. There was an awful lot that went on for Beam in this period. When we get to the stock, you're going to see that this stock was incredibly oversold. And part of that is because it is one of the most shorted stocks in the market, they really drove the price down to a point that made, in my opinion, absolutely no sense at all. So for me, this was an easy call. It was easy to see the bottom. It's run up significantly from there. I believe the run continues, but again, this is not financial advice. Let's go through their highlights. Generated record annual revenue of $9 million in 2021. So they really kind of got going in the second half of 2021. They're back on track. Their sales are back on track. You'll see the next thing they have to say, 134% growth in new orders year over year. So that is significant growth in new orders year over year. And that is going to result in significantly higher sales in 2022. Because this massive increase in growth of orders will translate to sales in 2022. So we'll get to the 2022 and 2023 projections. They have a very high projected growth rate in this company. 67% growth in system deliveries year over year, 66% growth in Q4 2021 in system deliveries over Q3 2021. So that is sequentially from quarter to quarter. Quarter four was 66% growth over Q3. So that is very significant. So you can see what I mean. They have picked up in the last half of 2021 and they're carrying that momentum into 2022 in a big way. 
They also acquired energy storage leader All Cell Technologies in an all-stock transaction. Even with that all-stock transaction, they still only have about 10 million total shares of stock outstanding. The float on this, I think, is about 8 million shares. So there's not too many shares out there, and a significant number of them are short right now. One of the things I want to say about All Cell Technology is this is vertical integration for them. They buy one of their most expensive parts from this company. So rather than do that, they have now bought the company. That's going to do two things. It's going to decrease their cost of sales, which is important because they're working on their gross profit margin. They will increase their overall sales because All Cell Technologies has customers of its own. Okay, next, record revenue of $1.9 million and orders of $2.9 million in the first full year of the federal GSA contract. So this is a federal contract that is going to represent a lot of sales on a going forward basis. So you can see they're ramping up in this. This is just one line of sales for their business. In 2021, they received the largest single order in company history, which was 52 units. Beam EV charging systems are now in 29 states in the United States. They've expanded their non-government sales. So earlier we talked about their federal GSA contract. Okay, then they received their first battery order of $2.3 million within weeks of the acquisition of All Cell Technologies. So you remember they acquired All Cell Technologies. Well, they've already got $2.3 million sales order from that in the first few weeks. So that is going to add a lot to their top line revenue and to their gross profit as a company. Okay, just a quick look at this company's balance sheet because this is a very healthy company so I wanted to show you they have current assets of 27 million dollars they have current liabilities of 2.9 million dollars so they're almost 10 to 1 current assets to current liabilities so this company has a great cash flow situation they have a slow cash burn rate and they have absolutely no need at this point to issue any stock so dilution isn't really an issue with this company all right now i just want to really quickly look at their forecast for the next few years so there's there's about six analysts that cover this company and they're estimating that the 2022 revenue is going to go up to 18.5 million now remember 2021 was 9 million that was their all-time record so that represents 105 percent growth year over year for 2022 which is the year that we're in that we just finished the first quarter of 2023 they actually anticipate an even higher level of growth 132 percent growth to 42.97 to basically 43 million dollars so you're talking about a compound annual growth rate of over 100% for the next couple of years. And you can see next year, also very importantly, in 2023, you know, it's not much money, but they are looking to turn a profit. So cash burn rate becomes a non-issue. So again, stock dilution seems to be off the table for this company. It's just simply not necessary. Okay, so this is the beam chart on the one day time frame. So each one of these candles represents one day. The first thing that you will notice is we have a string of green candles going here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a row. And you can see basically since March 15th, it's been almost all green candles. So we've been going up pretty much in a straight line. I've drawn a line right here. This is where the stock was trading a month ago when I made that video. So from the bottom on February 24th until the time we made our video last month, this stock was already up 56%. But at that time, I drew this green line right here and called this out as a short-term price target. This had been a very strong line of support for the entire year of 2021. Once it broke, it had turned into a line of resistance. But to me, it was clear that this stock had bottomed out. It had already had a nice run up 50% 50 percent but when you see when we zoom out this stock is still monumentally oversold in my opinion so even after this first price target is met i still believe there's a lot of room to the upside left in this stock from here so the stock right now is up 140 percent in the last five weeks so this is a massive run up it's also up about 54 percent from when we made our video last month calling for a run on beam stock so so this has been a big winner. It's in the middle of a gigantic run-up. The one thing I want to point out right now as a moment of caution is this stock has ran up dramatically in a very short period of time. So even though I believe there's a lot of room left to run on this stock, I think it's going to much higher places. We'll talk about my personal 
price targets. There is a reasonable possibility. This stock is very overbought right now. It's over 80 on the daily RSI. So you could see a pullback. I am not adding to this stock at this position. And again, this is not financial advice. You guys have to decide whether or not this is a good buy for you from a risk reward situation and do your own due diligence. I'm just telling you that I'm not adding to my position at this point. If there is a significant pullback, that might be a place that I would be interested in adding in because this stock is so overbought right now, there's the potential for a short-term pullback. However, in all likelihood, I will not change my position in this stock stock and I will just continue to let it run because I believe it's going to run a lot higher than this. Again, that's my opinion. This is not financial advice. So from last January to this January 2022, this stock was down 86%. So you can see why I say there's a lot of room left to run on this stock. They just reached this green line, which was basically their 2021 minimum line of support here. For most of the year 2021, they traded well above this amount. If I go from where they are right now, if they just retrace their steps back to where they were on November 10th of 2021, so that would be another 55% increase in the price of this stock. If they could get back to where they were last March 11th, and remember, this was not their all-time high at all. This, to me, is a realistic price target. So if they were to get back to 50, just under $51, that would represent a 98% increase in the price of their stock from where it sits right now. So I think those are realistic targets under a regular set of circumstances. It is possible, this being one of the most shorted stocks in the market with a very small float, that in the middle there will be some type of squeeze that puts it up to a number potentially dramatically higher than this. So I don't invest planning on a squeeze, but it's always nice to know that that potential sits out there. So again, remember the chart you're looking at is from April 5th. So that may be one or two days old by the time you're looking at it here. So that's all I've got for you on Beam. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.